Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between and enter decimal degrees and degrees minutes seconds on the TI-84 Plus Texas Instruments calculator. To do this we'll need to use the second function key that looks like this located here, the mode key that looks like this located here, the apps key with the second function of angle that looks like this located here with the purple text, the alpha key that looks like this located here, this green one, and the plus key that looks like this located here. When we're working with degrees, the first thing we want to do is make sure we're in degree mode in the calculator. Otherwise, we might get some weird answers. To do this, we want to press the mode key, which will bring us to this menu here. And if we scroll down twice, we see that we have the option between radians and degrees. Right now, radian is highlighted in black, and that means our calculator will be using radians. So we want to change that to degrees. So we go to the right one so that our box is around degree, press enter, degree is now highlighted, and we're in degree mode. We can now quit from this menu by pressing second function, mode key, which is quit, and we're back to our main menu. If we're given decimal degrees, like say 45.5 degrees, and want to convert that to degrees, minutes, seconds, we can do this by entering it onto our screen. So there's our 45.5 degrees, and then we hit second, and then the apps key, which second function is angle, to bring us to the angle menu here. Now the fourth option here is into DMS. That means converting to degrees, minutes, seconds. There we go. And now if we press enter, we see our 45.5 decimal degrees has converted to degrees, minutes, seconds, which is 45 degrees, 30 minutes, zero seconds. It's important to note this also works for time. If we had 45.5 hours and wanted that in hours and minutes, well, just replace the degrees with hours and it works. 45.5 hours is the same as 45 hours, 30 minutes. What if we're given 45 degrees, 30 minutes, zero seconds, and want to convert that to decimal degrees? Well, to do that, we start by entering our degrees, 45, and then go to our angle menu. And here we see the first option is the degree symbol. So we'll select that. There we go, we have 45 degrees. Next we have 30 minutes. So we enter the 30, again to the angle menu. Scroll down to number two, there's our minute symbol. There we go. And in this example, we have zero seconds, so we don't have to enter anything here. We have 45 degrees, 30 minutes entered. All we have to do is press enter. And there we go, 45.5 decimal degrees. But what if we want to convert something that has seconds? Like, let's say, 270 degrees, 33 minutes, 18 seconds. Well, again, we start by entering our degrees. Followed by our minutes. And then we can enter our seconds. In this example, 18 seconds. But if we look in our angle menu, we see there's no second symbol here. What we need to do is quit out of this menu. If we look down here at the plus key, we see a second symbol in the top right in green. So if we scroll over to our seconds, and we want to change this to a second, well, you need to use the alpha key. So we press the alpha key here, and then the plus, and we see we now get seconds appearing on our screen. There we go, we have our 270 degrees, 
33 minutes, 18 seconds. Press enter. And we see this converts to decimal degrees for us, which is 270.555. One more time, quickly, we enter that as 270 degrees, 33 minutes, 18 seconds with the alpha key. There we go. 270.555. And we can do this the opposite way by entering 270.555, going back to our angle menu, selecting the fourth option, pressing enter, and converting that to degrees, minutes, seconds, which is 270 degrees, 33 minutes, 18 seconds. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.